All right, guys, welcome back to Formula One News. As a major weather event unfolds in Emilia Romagna ahead of the Imola Grand Prix, there is a legitimate risk the event will not go ahead this weekend. The personnel for all the teams and those setting up for the Grand Prix this weekend were evacuated from the track just a few hours ago after a major flooding risk as a result of the river you guys can see on screen. Going to discuss the details today, what the weather forecast looks like over the coming days, and whether it's actually likely we're going to get any Grand Prix this weekend. Come Sunday afternoon. Very much intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new as always. So it's a big weekend for many here right in the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix mainly because so many teams are bringing upgrades. Finally we're going to see something for Mercedes. Even Alfred Tarry reckon they're bringing a significant step here. Every team seems to think they're going to gain three tenths of a second this weekend. So the reality is it might not make any difference to the pecking order but we're going to see some big upgrades and when upgrades arrive teams need need on-track time to figure out what's going on. It's very rare that you can slap the upgrade on and straight away you're getting all the benefits of its potential performance. You need a few practice sessions to understand and ideally this weekend the teams would love three hours of dry normal running practice sessions to get things into gear to understand where they are and have a good platform for the weekends. They're almost certainly not going to get that. It's meant to rain every day from now to the weekends. Yes the severity of the rainfall is is going to decline. We'll see that in a few minutes time, but um, it's not looking good for a normal weekend. Maybe we want that as Formula One fans. We certainly want everyone to be safe who's there in the local area, and we also want a race to go ahead, which is the risk nowadays of the FIA when rainfall happens. They tend to like not doing much in terms of actual on-track racing. So Alfa Romeo have got some upgrades coming. Aston Martin apparently are not going to bring this three tenths of a second upgrade we thought they were. Instead, planning to do smaller upgrades at plenty of races. They'll probably still bring some things, but apparently no major upgrades for them, whereas Mercedes will bring the new front suspension, the new floor, the new other elements of the car to try and turn their season and their trajectory in the current Formula One landscape around. So it was a few weeks ago now that Scuderia AlphaTauri, based just around the corner from the Imola circuit, that's their home track, that, um, you know, I think they said this on the 4th of May, there was a severe flooding event at the time, just a couple of weeks ago there was a violent rainstorm it produced heavy flooding leading to two lives being lost unfortunately in the reason it affected some of their employees and um, yeah they basically give their support to everyone affected by the tragedy that it was a couple of weeks ago and I heard the story about this and I wondered okay by the time we come to race there you would think that everything is well at least better than this that's not necessarily the case another violent rainstorm has emerged over the last day also I mean look at this footage from this is the track Today is Tuesday. They've got to set everything up for the Grand Prix. The teams all arrive and prepare for the weekend pretty much on the Tuesday, Wednesday. Obviously, employees of the track themselves have to set things up, the FAA, get things ready for the weekends. And on this evidence, it's not looking good. These are some latest images here from the panic, trying to set things up for the weekends. A lot of it is just flooded, and it's not going to stop raining anytime soon. Apparently, we're due for in Imola another 24 hours of heavy rain, and then it's going to calm down a bit but by the time that it does what's the likelihood that the track is in a reasonable condition to do any practice on let alone have all the teams set up in the appropriate manner that they need to be to crack on with the weekend as plans so we'll see what the official line is here in a second from the Formula One guys themselves but only an hour or so ago at least as a recording personnel all the teams everyone at the track was asked to evacuate the track and um, you know for the entire day and whatever they're working on just just postpone it for now because there was a serious risk of flooding, a threat of flooding from the adjacent river that we'll see in a second. This was the footage here from Albert Fabrega pointing out that, you know, the river had just flooded its banks effectively and there was a risk that a lot of that water would get onto the track and really affect those working there. So, I mean, look at this. You see the, the paddock on the left-hand side. You turn to the right and you see this. I mean, it's outrageous what's going on at the moment. And this was some images here of what it looked like on Saturday. This is the river on... I'm guessing Saturday, a couple of days ago, when Albert, was, I suppose, was there for the first time. And now what it looks like today as of Tuesday, 
I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. So hopefully this resolves itself over the coming days, but it does pose a significant risk. These were some of the pictures from that river. This is right next to the track we'll see in a second. It's, um, it's incredible stuff. So this is Tamburello. So I believe this is coming down to the end of sector one. You go through the first chicane, turn left, come down here. Then there's another left, right. And then you come to the end of sector one here, this kind of slow third gear, whatever left hand at. And um, that's right next to this river. So, you know, this is serious risk, right? That if there was to be some serious flooding, as of course there is, that it was going to affect the on-track situation. So they've called off any work for the day. And it's not like today is the last day for rain. The entire region for today and tomorrow has been categorized as a red weather warning conditions, up to 100 millimeters of rain expected until tomorrow night. And that's not the end of the rain. Thursday is meant to be dry, but there's meant to be rain all weekend as well. And this is just another image of exactly that. This, um, the part of Italy that we're discussing and in these other areas, it's not too bad. But around the area of Imola, there is severe rain affected for today and tomorrow. And as Chris Medlin says, personnel told to evacuate. Fingers crossed it's only precautionary. Everyone has the all clear to resume preparation at some stage. Safety is absolutely first, but um, it is affecting the likelihood of racing this weekends even at the best of times let alone the possibility of if it's actually raining what do the FEA do about that we've seen Belgium 2021 we've seen Suzuka 2022 so um, as Albert says the latest info that is that the Grand Prix goes ahead as planned and they've said this with other circumstances that have arise such as even Jeddah 2022 right with the missiles coming around Obviously, the, the whole line is from Formula One that it's going ahead, no problem at all. Those sources are adamant there's no concern, it's all going ahead. Teams and officials are traveling as plans, but um, if they can't set up the event properly, there's downpours, there's high winds, there's thunderstorms potentially. What could that do for the infrastructure? What could it even the possibility of landslides? What about the spectators, the facilities, the car parks? Are they going to be usable? There's so many factors why this is a potential risk as it stands. So, and even into Sunday afternoon, there's a 40% shower risk. I mean, the last couple of years, there's been some rain here for the Imola Grand Prix. And at times it's made it interesting, at times that it hasn't. And knowing what can sometimes happen when there's all talk about rain around a Grand Prix weekend and it just goes completely bone dry come the race on Sunday. But um, there is a severe risk. And I just wanted to like, this is BBC weather, right? I don't know how reliable this necessarily is, but these are the information that we have today with a 90% chance of very heavy rain for the rest of today. If we look at tomorrow, Wednesday, again, it's it's raining the entire day, maybe a little bit lighter, but still heavy rain pretty much. Thursday is meant to be dry, so if that maintains that it stands, then by the time we get to the weekends, hopefully everything is cleared up, but it's not ideal. And then Friday, again, 50% or so chance of rain, showers in the evening. Saturday, a similar story. A few days after this point, this could be inaccurate, but 70% chance of rain. And then Sunday for the race, we've got thunderstorms potentially coming in with, again, 50-40% chance of rain around about when the race is going down. So hopefully if everything's okay over the next couple of days, it could be a recipe for a really exciting weekends. The teams won't like it though, even if they can get on track perfectly fine for Friday, because they won't get more than likely the ideal testing time they would like. It's going to be changeable conditions. They're going to be out there on the wet tires, on the intermediate tires. And we also know that the wet tires last year were practically useless. After literally lap one of the Suzuka Grand Prix last year, Year, everyone that wasn't what Mick Schumacher pitted for inters and were immediately way faster by doing so despite the fact that the track was really a wet track right it wasn't an intermediate kind of a you know slippery conditions it was a wet track but the inters were better tires Pirelli say this year the wet tires are better so hopefully that means at least that we can run the Grand Prix without problems but we know that Monaco last year as I say Suzuka last year the FEA don't seem to enjoy when it rains and they don't seem to enjoy letting drivers on track when it does and you can understand the concern from them especially after the Yul Bianchi incident of a few years ago but it's kind of a mixed bag at the moment if it is going to be a wet weekend as to whether that actually makes for an entertaining race or whether it makes for an absolute disaster the ideal world is maybe it starts dry then it starts raining at some point but um, and that could happen right based on the forecast that we just saw but that requires everything to be set up for the weekend in the first place which as it stands is far from a guarantee before we finish I did also want to mention that this weekend they're meant to be 
be bringing in come Saturday a new format for qualifying. This is basically the same as what we saw in Baku for the sprint race qualifying where it's mandated, I believe there it was medium, medium, soft, but here it's mandated hard tyres Q1, mediums Q2, softs Q3. The idea of this is to save about 160 sets of tyres over the course of the weekends and it doesn't sound like a terrible idea but hard tyres in Q1, especially for teams that struggle to warm their tyres up, that's going to be interesting. It might not be relevant frankly right because if any of the sessions are declared wet then the tyre choice will become free so it's probably, it might not matter right, we might be on the inters or whatever for qualifying this weekend but that's what they're going to try and do and if they don't get the chance it's going to be interesting just to see what that means. As to whether they'll try something like this again and just one final thing to mention here before we close out from Yada Watmir I thought was pretty interesting actually the 2023 Nations standings here for Formula 1 of course leading the line is Nick DeVries carrying Max Verstappen on his back right now to 119 points tied actually with Spain with Carlos Sainz and of course uh, Fernando Alonso at 119 as well then Great Britain with Lando Norris Hamilton and Russell at 106 just ahead of Perez on his own representing Mexico then it drops a fair bit down to Monaco Canada France of course for the Alpine pair should really be doing better than they are and then it goes down to the USA unfortunately with zero and I guess Alex Albon who is representing Thailand with one Japan on two China with two pretty cool stuff but congratulations to Nick DeVries looking good to take the nation standings championship for the Netherlands for this upcoming season but very much intrigued your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new take care and I will see you next time